Pick a question. Well, everyone loves a clown, don't they? Uh, everyone likes a pint. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have the clown. OK, all right. Most people think they're fun to be around. True or false? Um, so you can tell you're fun to be around by the company you keep. If you would think you're fun to be around, you like to be around fun people. Mm. In truth, I'm never happier than when it's just me and a really old dog. <laughs> <laughs> I sit there for a, a day by a river with an old dog. <laughs> Guys, this thing about living alone. <laughs> Pretty much your specialist area we've hit here. Well, I liked it. It's just the, the sympathy is the worst thing. People say, you're all right living on your own. Yeah. Have you not got any mates? Yeah, cos I don't live with them. <laughs> no, I loved it. I loved living on my own. What was the best thing about living on your own? Oh, just all of it. Nothing moved. Just, you know, think I'm gonna stay up all night. Doesn't matter. No one's gonna wake me up. No one's gonna come round. Actually, it was tragic. <laughs> I've just remembered what it was like, and now you ask the question, it's the constant crushing loneliness, the fear it's never gonna end and you're gonna die on your own. <laughs> Biggest turn off I've been on a date is uh, M4 Junction 15. Uh, <laughs> Sweeps down and back up. <laughs> you, don't you don't really, it just looks that big. But as you're going uphill, you get to the lights and you get a lovely view of Swindon there. <laughs> and there's a drive through Costa on the left. Lucky girl. <laughs> Playing sport to me is like would you put something in the bin or would you throw it from the other side of the room? And in that sense, but I will still, if we've got an hour spare, I'll stand in front of my living room wall with a tennis ball and I'll bounce it against the wall like I'm a goalkeeper that's been lobbed. Oh, and I have to run back and just tip it over the couch. <laughs> and I'll, I'll <laughs> happily do that for an hour. I've done that. <laughs> like you should probably cat. buy a telly, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about you, John? Do you like a powerful woman? <laughs> I was so sure you were going to say powerful man, though. Yeah. <laughs> power, just for power's sake, is boring, isn't it? If they're powerful because they've done something... Like, a rhino is powerful. <laughs> Rhinos don't do anything. No, but that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't shag a rhino. <laughs> if a rhino had done something amazing... You, you would then shag it? Well... <laughs> uh, John, did you celebrate Valentine's? Uh, well, this is my first year I've ever had a girlfriend on Valentine's Day. Mm. Before you applaud that, that's tragically sad, yeah. is what it is. <laughs> I'll have loads of birds, obviously, but February the 13th, thrift measure, get rid. <laughs> <laughs> Most people would rather play video games than go to the park. True or false? I prefer a park because you can't lose at the park. You, you don't come back from the park and someone says, how was the park? And you go, oh, shit, I went out straight away. <laughs> but with a computer game, you pay 60 quid for something that is now too hard to do. <laughs> computer games, I switch them on and then I just die. What's the point in that? <laughs> they shoot at you straight away. There's not a level where it's like, level one, get some breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shit at real life. I play video games to feel less shit. In five minutes, I want to win the World Cup and shoot some baddies. I don't want to be crying on the floor in a video game as well as my living room. <laughs> so if I had to answer for everyone, Jimmy, I'd say the park. <laughs> How many friends would you say you have? Ah, uh, like a million. <laughs> I mean, a stranger's just a friend you haven't met yet. <laughs> what I don't like about chatting to people online is there are people whose accents I can tolerate and there are people who blah, 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 and then you talk to them online and you realise, oh, you can't write, you can't... <laughs> you can't spell, you can't punctuate. And then a male friend will send me a text with an X on it. So you've never kissed me in real life. <laughs> Why are you suddenly getting all flirty on a text? Because <laughs> when I bring it next time we're at the pub, you're going to be, whoa, whoa, what's this? <laughs> you fucking started it. You can do this. Most annoying thing couples do. Well, let's go to our specialist on this. John, what is the, <laughs> what is the most annoying thing that loving couples do? It's when they finish each other's... Um... Sentences. <laughs> <laughs> what pisses me off about my male friends is they... Um, because couples is great, isn't it, when you're in a relationship, but then men feel this obligation to pretend she won't let him come out, when really they just don't want to say to their mates, I'd rather watch a film and shag. 
yeah. and listen to you Absolutely. moan on about your life. But they go, yeah, I'd love to calm down a boozer, but she won't fucking let up. Yeah. <laughs> Just say it. Your relationship is better than your friendship with me. I'll take it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Thing is, John, they're not even watching a DVD or having sex. They'd just rather not go out with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie. They are watching a DVD because I'm watching through their window. <laughs> <laughs> you can change your plans, but I'll still be there whether you know. <laughs> the best thing about a hotel is being able to pay by the hour, isn't it? Because <laughs> I'm a shagger. I like to shag. I think that's become obvious. <laughs> Have you forgotten who you are? <laughs> <laughs> you live alone. And, uh, <laughs> you never shag? <laughs> oh, that Don't is a openly laugh at yeah. his face, Tess, as much. <laughs> sometimes that can bring him down a little bit if you just openly laugh at his face. <laughs> He's never getting any. That's going to be the sentence I hear on a loop when I'm trying to sleep tonight. I can just hear, you never shag. <laughs> the worst thing you can always say is just the truth. Just say, well, you know, statistically, you're probably never going to find true love. Um, <laughs> At best, you'll find someone willing to just see it out with you. And you. But it's not to say you'll be happy. Someone might stay with you, but you'll probably never be happy. You'll grow to hate each other. <laughs> or, <laughs> never mind, you might meet someone at the clinic. <laughs> Sorry. Is it other men? <laughs> the least romantic thing to do on your honeymoon is other men. To do on your honeymoon? Yeah. I resent to, uh, as a man, as being referred to as a thing, Sarah. Um, Makes you would like love it. to be called a thing, John. <laughs> wow, thing. <laughs> so a very good way to compliment if you're in a long-term relationship is always wake up before your partner or your wife, right? So when she wakes up, you're just staring at her. <laughs> they love that. So she wakes up like that, and then you're just there going... <laughs> did, you, did you have a good night's sleep? <laughs> It's difficult when, when you inherently sound sarcastic. Like if, <laughs> even if I mean it, you go, oh, you look nice. I'll tell you what, look, John, just, just for the sake of art, just genuine. I mean, Rachel, you look lovely this evening, but genuinely, John, look at Rachel in the eyes and tell her she looks nice this evening. Just, <laughs> just genuinely see if you can do it. She's a beautiful woman. Tell her she's a beautiful woman, John. You're a very... <laughs> Take a minute, John. Take a minute. Just focus. Just tell her, tell her how she thinks. There's so think many women at home that will be quite excited about it. You're a very beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's honestly, you're happy with that. That's the best you could. I mean, it's not, the, it's not the sort of arena I'd planned for it to happen in. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm a whiner, I'm a diner. I, I'm a fucking whiner, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there not a round on how to compliment a man? I've got needs. <laughs> Why don't you look me in the eye and tell me I'm amazing? Well, after I went to see your stand-up show, um, I cleaned my house a bit more. That's the most depressing compliment <laughs> I've ever had. <laughs> I see you do the thing you're good at, you know, then when you show off in front of the women, I went home and I tell you what, I scrubbed that skirting board. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what gadget has changed your life? John? You're really asking the wrong guy in terms of, you know, most people. Generally in my life, I would say the gadget that's blown my mind the most is the uh, boiled egg slicer. <laughs> <laughs> you just you press it and it all. Oh. It's like a little cradle and you just put, you put the egg to bed and it says, all right, Mr. Egg, you're going to be... <laughs> <laughs> I've got a uh, pickled onion grabber. <laughs> is it your hand? No, it's not a gadget. <laughs> hmm? no. It is for you, Mr. Vinegar Fingers. <laughs> no! <laughs> Curse my vinegar fingers. It just looks like a pen. You press it, <laughs> little prongs come out like that. Pickled onion, madam. There we go. <laughs> Ladies must yeah. just swoon. <laughs> the only problem is he's had to take it next door to someone to open the jar for him. <laughs> uh, Mr. Bronson, could you open my pickled onion jar? <laughs> I've got some ladies coming round. Did you go camping? No. No, I tried it. I, I like the idea of being in the wilderness, but then I find out how scared I am of everything. Everything pretty much from a worm upwards. <laughs> Pretty shit scared of sleeping in a wet. <laughs> Don't like that. Um, just the general loneliness. The general loneliness. How's that different from home? Because <laughs> <laughs> there's a telly at home and I can have the voices. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> put my DVD on and pretend, oh, I'm going to sleep in my bar in New York. <laughs> Where everybody knows my name. <laughs> <laughs> Because they do a thing every year where they talk about people's weird crush. So the number one uh, weird crush, as voted for by the British public, is Russell Howard, which doesn't seem that weird to me. Number two, if you've seen that. <laughs> and so you are, you are a weird crush, which yeah. is <laughs> such a terrible backhanded compliment. Yeah. Isn't it? So well, it's it's like saying you don't sweat much for a fat girl. <laughs> Weird Crush is also John's signature lovemaking style as well. <laughs> <laughs> they sent me a badge. I think it says something on it like, not quite weird enough. <laughs> I mean, what a chat up line that is. <laughs> Ladies just looking for a man who says, I'm mental, but not very. <laughs> I, I can't help thinking, you know, there, if you look at this panel, there are two people who are single who might get on quite well. <laughs> oh, we've got you mean, you're, you're single, right? Stop. Really <laughs> <laughs> like a playground now. Do you play the job? She does. She I does. She, she does. does. <laughs> <laughs> You're just not weird enough for me, Jamelia. <laughs> <laughs> just get on with it. Just you know. You know get on get with down it. to oh, business. I haven't got. Yeah. And oh, it I've is a business. I've got a girlfriend with me. every bloody week. <laughs> You're going to feel pretty bad when one week I come in and I'm in a relationship and there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me and Sue. <laughs> Sue and I. I can imagine you getting into a relationship where you're one of those couples that talk about, well, Sue and I think. Yeah. <laughs> like, even on the show, if she wasn't here, you go, so what have people been talking about this week? And you go, well, Sue and I have been talking. <laughs> I won't be doing this show if I have a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't leaving the house, I ain't doing gigs. Comedy's just one bit. I mean, you two are in relationships. You only do comedy because you're not really happy in them. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the nation would be talking about? The snow. Oh, Gemma, straight in there. Well, because it was, like, really changed all the colour of the country and stuff. <laughs> How do you mean it's changed the colour of the country? Is it quite insightful? No, because when you look out your window, like, obviously there's grass and there's grey buildings and, yeah. like, you drive through London, but when it snows, it's yeah. beautiful. So I think that's a hot topic to talk about. That's good. Yeah. It's a cold topic. <laughs> <laughs> what First what? reason yeah. why John doesn't have a girlfriend, that is. <laughs> In a continuing series, let's see how high we can get. <laughs> There's my voice, that's number two. <laughs> Hello, number three. 